so uh hello and welcome back guys to the channel and uh on this video guys we are back to the vix once again and we're going to discuss about the vix 100 but before we get into it make sure you like uh subscribe if you haven't turn that bell button on for notifications and let's get into it right so today i'm basically going to be teaching you guys a simple uh v100 scalping strategy right so this strategy just involves um three major things right so structure the first thing supply and demand the second thing and confirmation right so this is where the the whole basic uh, mmc footprint strategy is rooted from right so these are the major three things that we're going to be considering in this video you know for us to be able to make shit tons of money from this uh vix pair actually right so let's get into it so uh now we're gonna um i'm gonna provide you a simple uh insight or sketch on how to you know like combine or marry these three things together for them to work perfectly right so first you need to have structure right but structure in terms of what right we need to see a structural impulse breaking structure either bearish or bullish right so in scenario one right so let's say uh, okay let's take the brush so let's say you have a scenario like this right so you have your structural impulse pushing bullish with this bos right here right so this is like uh, the break of structure so from this break right here what do we look for the second thing right s and d right supply and demand you know like that s and d zone so in this case it's going to be the demand zone right since it's an uptrend or it's a, it's, it's a bullish move we're going to be looking for that unmitigated demand zone that requires mitigation right and you know like probably supported with imbalances above it to make it more valid and more uh, strong so now once we have identified our uh our demand zone we're now going to be waiting for the for the third and final thing which is confirmation right so we want to uh see price drop uh from this area here right all the way here to this uh mitigation area and once that mitigation is done from this area here we want to see price in the lower time frames right break structure change its character right or whatever break structure to the top side meaning shifting from this intermediary uh sorry shifting from in this intermediary bearish trend towards a new bullish trend to indicate what a continuation bullish right so this is what we're basically going to be waiting for and taking this high right here uh this high right here as our next liquidity run right so uh i beg your pardon for the drawings they're not that much perfect but you know i'm, I'm just trying to make sense of what i'm of what i'm going to be teaching so our entry is basically going to be based off of this break right this break here meaning that once we have we have now structure intermediary structure uh pushing bullish then this is going to be our entry one and probably this break with uh an entry two you know and and take price uh to the top side towards this high as its next liquidity run and also you know you can manage your trade properly and hold if you do want to hold or whatever right so the risk management is all up to you guys so with that being said let's see now how all of this how all of this is applied in the actual charts right so let's get into it right let me remove these and boom so from this chart here i'm basically going to be looking for you know like some uh easy places you know like just some simple price action that uh, makes a lot of sense right so boom i can see one right here so following structure right uh following structure we had price pushing bearish right bearish right with this break here comes back to retest right retest there bearish once again right so i'm not going to use all this old price action i don't think the confirmation will be available to us because if we drop time frames this most of this part uh, won't be visible but let's try this area here so with that being said we now have a high and a low right it would have been actually fun if this trading view for binary had a replay tool but sadly it doesn't you know it is what it is so from this we ha we now have a high and a low and from this these two things we have a, what a break of structure meaning that we we now already have our uh, structural impulse so now what we're going to be looking for is that what snd zone lo and behold we do have one perfect snd zone right there boom so this is like uh this was uh, an unmitigated demand zone right up until this point when it was mitigated and price just left so with that being said we now take this low as a what next liquidity run so okay 
boom right boom so this low is our next liquidity run right so let's put like uh i don't know like a dollar sign to indicate liquidity right so now from this area we're now gonna uh jump back you know we're gonna drop time frames and go to confirm this area how we could have taken our entry inside here and take price lower so we now drop to the one minute time frame so this is as you can see real time feed blah 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 uh, okay so i hope i'm not lost um let's wait for it let's wait for it let's wait for it boom so i think like this is probably the end yeah there's no data there but you know uh <clears throat> this is the most important part right so price comes right here and taps our zone okay fine price has tapped our zone now let's see how we could have analyzed this area so judging structure right so we have a high a low a high a low a high and then a low which does what break structure so this is already what a break of structure lower meaning that this price is no longer pushing bullish but instead it's shifting bearish so we now have witnessed the end of this bullish trend and now we want to see a new bearish trend being printed so let's see what happens next and from this low price makes a high and then breaks off what do we wait for right we wait for the pullback towards this high which is also supported with what an s d zone a supply zone in this instance since it's a bearish trend and this supply zone does require mitigation lo and behold that's all the confluence that you need so boom so this is like my um i'm just going to take the overall up move so that's my um i think this is the uh, short position boom so that's uh that's my uh my my s d zone right my supply zone and you know like the stop loss could easily be here or here i like placing it a little bit further to allow absorption or liquidation moves that tend to come you know a little bit absorption and then you know price goes down right that happens and if you don't know what absorption is make sure you go back to the playlists the mmc footprint strategy playlist and play uh and watch the uh the absorption and displacement video so from this area here lo and behold our take profit target is over this overall low down here boom right so that's that's everything that you need right so that's your trade being placed right boom so there, that, that's your trade over there uh, and now we can you know stretch this out and see how beautifully it plays boom so lo and behold your take profit target is hit with that simple uh strategy you know like it's just following the rules one two three and boom an easy one to nine rr so you know your plus nine rr and this is uh v100 which is you know like an, an amazing pair right so uh with that being said let's do particularly one more example and let's call it a day right i don't want to make this video very long and uh bore you guys but you know we, we are going to be still talking about this vix pairs and how uh to apply this particular scalping strategy in this big uh, vix pairs right so boom lo and behold um we now have structure pushing down coming back up pushing again down coming back up pushing down so boom i'm basically going to be taking this area here right this just simple price action right so we have this break here meaning that what it's a break of structure to the top side meaning we now have a structural impulse bullish right so i did a bearish example now i'm going to do a bullish example so from this uh structural impulse bullish we know that we we are now going to be looking for what the second thing which is the s d zone right lo and behold this is the supply zone right and just so you know i'm not cherry picking this if you want to know more about supply and demand zones and you don't know what i'm actually doing here make sure you go back to the playlist the mmc for strategy playlist and watch all of them supply and demand videos and you'll be uh totally comprehended and aware of what we're doing here so that's the supply zone and from that i mean demand zone and from that demand zone we're now going to be looking for what lower time frame confirmation to take price uh bullish with this high as our next liquidity run right boom so lo and behold this high right here is our next liquidity run so let's go to the one minute and confirm this area and see how how we could have probably taken that entry okay uh here we are right so we are with you know we're just following price right price goes down comes up goes down you know that liquidation move comes back down doesn't come up still goes down right so 
this could have easily you know like you could have taken a trade here right comes back up a little bit and then takes you out that happens right but with that price taking you out so let's say that's a mi minus one right no hard feelings okay so what price does comes up goes down this is a break right comes up changes it's uh shifts it's what change of market character simply it's a break of structure right so price now breaks bullish comes back to retest right entry one here goes bullish again comes back to retest right entry two here goes bullish comes back to retest right entry three here so that's your three entries right so i'm just i'm basically gonna be the i, I just gonna, i'm just gonna deal with the um the first one you know i just don't want to over complicate this for you guys so uh this up here is our next liquidity run so boom that's our tp or take profit target area or whatever stop loss below the low and lo and behold this is your trade right this is your trade that runs absolutely beautifully towards your tp area take profit target is hit this is uh a 1 to 15 rr trade so you know the first trade you won with plus 9 rr the second trade plus 15 rr plus the one trade that you lost minus one rr so it's 14 plus 9 it's actually 20 um 23 or 24 or whatever doesn't matter right you're so you are up 20 something rr within three trades right that involving one losing trade so that's that shows you how magnificent this simple uh, strategy is and if you did enjoy this guys make sure you like subscribe if you haven't turn that bell button on for notifications and until the next time guys stay safe and peace